If you want to hear what I dropped, link in the description. If you want to hear what I dropped, link in the description. And hey, hey, link in the description. Um, I really appreciate if you check that out. Then you can go to my YouTube shorts tab if you want to hear clips of my music. And um, yeah, appreciate you. Please like, comment, subscribe. It always helps people, it always helps. Share the videos, all that good stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, um, last night was was interesting. Last night was an interesting night. I met up with some people, um, and uh, yeah, um, <laughs> okay, where do I even start? Okay, basically. Hmm. Okay, so I told you all about that girl that I, I, uh, I like, but I, I, I don't think we, we, we would work well together and stuff. Um, so, you know, I had no issue telling her about this other guy that I think, you know, he, he, he seems like a nice guy, he seems well put together, he's got a good job. He recently moved into this, um... Uh, upmarket neighborhood he's got his own apartment there so he's doing well you know so I, I told him I told her about him just to kind of plant that seed she hadn't met him at the time she didn't know who he was um, so yesterday at our yeah, we attend like the same Bible study. Yesterday he showed up, <clears throat> and she she met him for the first time, and I I told him that's the guy, and they seemed to have it all. They seemed to, yeah, well, it, it, it was a normal interaction. Uh, was it a normal interaction? <laughs> I don't know. Um, she looked at it and like, ooh, Jessie told me about you and all these sort of things, so I don't know if that was just her being playful or whatnot. She had that flirty kind of vibe going on, but anyway, um, so then, uh, when, when we were going home, I was just talking to him, I was just talking to him about just life, like, it, it, this is like, when we were just, we were outside by the parking lot and we were just... Just talking, but I, I didn't know he had a girlfriend. I found out recently he had a girlfriend, which complicates things. So I was just asking him about his girlfriend and how that's going and stuff. And you know, he's 27 now, so you know, he's, he's getting up there. So this is around the time now where he has to start thinking about marriage and stuff like that. So I was asking him, so like, okay, how long have you been dating? It's been seven years. Seven years, I saw, and I was like, okay, so, you know, how far along are you in the process of proposing? Like, when do you plan on doing that? And then you're telling me, you know, like, 
<laughs> I'm still young, bro. Yada yada yada, all this sort of stuff. But then, I, I I dug deeper, and then we got to the the real root of the issue here, which is because you know he's doing well. He's uh he's doing well. He lives in a very expensive apartment. So I I know that he could make he could make marriage work if he really wanted to. Um, anyway. I found out, so I, I told you all about this concept here in South Africa and in many African countries about lobola, which is bright, the bright price to pay when you're getting married. You pay a fee, basically, to get married. Uh, the father and, and some uncles show up and they negotiate a price that you pay. And then once you pay that amount, they give you permission to, to get married. And I think it's meant as a... It's, it's, it's meant to kind of figure out if you're financially responsible and capable of taking care of their daughter. And the concept is as well that we've spent this amount of time raising her and doing this and that for her. And we, I guess, want, want, want money for that, which is, which is, which is great. You're supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't know why you're asking to get paid for that. But... I guess it's also just a way to see if you're financially responsible, which you can ask for his bank statements. I guess if that's the how you don't need to get him to pay you. I'm kind of reassessing my, um, yeah, I, I've never liked Lobola, but you know, I, I was defending it in one of the last time I talked about it. I don't know if it was previous video, I was defending it. But now I'm just like, it just seems like a scam. All around, it's just a scam. It, who does it benefit? It's bad for the woman because now it puts them in an awkward position where if they are if they have a high bride price, it means the limit the options become limited because men have to think about that now. It's like if I if I get with this girl, I'm gonna have to like fork out unbelievable amounts of money just to marry her. So guys might want to avoid that, right? And th those are awkward conversations and uncomfortable conversations, and it unnecessarily com unnecessarily complicates things. So it's bad for the girl, and it's bad for the guy, obviously, because of the pressure, the pressure to to come up with that money. Like I've said before, some guys have to take out loans, dude. That's how expensive it can be sometimes. Um, but anyway, so the homie was telling me, he was telling me, like, I feel like this whole thing of Lobola is holding us back as black people, and yeah, it's stressful. And he was talking about how her dad is very strict and isn't the, the easiest person to get along with. Um, just a side note, I don't want to be that type of dad, because I want to have daughters. I don't want to be the type of dad where if my daughter has a guy that she likes she doesn't want to bring him around me because she knows I'm going to be tough and, and unpleasant and the guy's scared of me and all this sort of stuff like I don't want to like foster that sort of environment I'd much rather be the guy that yeah, yeah I'm here to protect my daughter and make sure that she's not dating some scumbag but at the same time I want to have a relationship with the 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 man that will marry me I want us to be close. We have to be close with family. I don't want him to be scared of me. I want him to be like, yeah, that's that's dad, because I'm literally going to be his, his father. Um, so you, you can have different conceptions of what a father it is. Is father like meant to be? Is your is your father meant to be someone you fear? And tiptoe around, or someone you respect and admire, like you like being around him, you do respect him, but you also like being around him. That's you can respect someone and absolutely hate being around them. That's possible, those two things can be possible. It's just good, it just makes you uncomfortable. So, I don't want like uh, whoever ends up being my, my son in law to so like be scared of me or anything like that that's not that's not good but anyway or, or even if he's not scared like uncomfortable i don't want that 
But if he is a scumbag, then you'll be very uncomfortable. Because obviously you don't want your daughter being a scumbag. So anyway, I, I got the sense from this guy that uh, the family dynamics are making it hard for him to commit all the way. He's, he's, uh, it's been seven years. I think if I was in his position, I'd be... <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd have been married a long time ago. If I really had strong feelings for the girl, even with Lobola, dude, well, screw it. I'll, I'll, mm, I was going to say I'll put off the, the apartment, the expensive apartment. Yeah, actually, you know what? Here's what we do. Put off the expensive apartment. Get the money together to pay for the bride price. And... After that, in the because then you can give yourself a year or two to figure out your finances with, with, pertaining to like getting an, an apartment. After that, because after you pay the bride price, you don't have to have the, the wedding right away. You, you get the bride price out of the way, then you can have the wedding. And I'm sure family can help out. The family can chip in as well. So I'm sure you can come up with the money in in, in several ways. So yeah. I think he's making excuses. I think he's not sure about this girl. Because I asked him. I asked him. Um, why am I putting people's business out like this? Is this even. Yeah, you don't know who he is. It's okay. Um, I asked him, like. Is she someone when you're alone with her, like you can have conversations with, you don't get bored with her, yada, yada, yada. And then his answer was like, when she was, she was out of town recently, and she's usually the person she hangs out with. Because, you know, when you get to that age, people don't socialize as much. It's hard to make friends at that age as well, as you get older. Um, and, you know, even the friends he does have, they might be busy and stuff. So he found himself not going out, not having anyone to talk to and stuff. So he was like, I really missed her. And I was like, yeah, but that's not what I was asking. Though. Like, it's not the same thing. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure she's fun to be around when, like, I'm sure it, Having her around is better than not having anyone around, I'm sure. Of course, but in terms of like, just as a couple, all things considered, is she someone that you feel like you can talk about anything with and you just click and you just have a lot in common and all these sorts of things and you just enjoy each other's company? I don't think he answered that directly. You know, I didn't. I didn't get a satisfying answer to that question, so it made me question. It made me, but I'm not sure about this relationship of yours. I was telling him. I was telling him. I bro, marriage is forever. Keep that in mind. Once you marry this girl, that's it. And we're Christians, so you know we don't we don't play with like the whole divorce thing. It happens here and there. This, but generally speaking. Yeah, no. So I'm telling him, like, it's forever, bro. Keep that in mind. So I, I was basically like saying, like, you need to be sure that this is the one. You can't just marry her because you've been dating for seven years and you feel like you have to out of an obligation or something. Because once you tie that knot, you've tied that knot. You come back out. That's, that's, that's dishonorable. So... Something interesting he said to me uh, while we were talking. I think the girl that, uh, you know, the girl I was talking about, the one that I introduced him to, she had walked past us and he was just asking, like, what does she do? What does she do for a living? Yeah, 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 that sort of stuff. He seemed interested in her and I thought that was very interesting. And interestingly enough, I was talking to that girl on, uh, on my phone last night. When I got home and she was saying, um, <laughs> wait, wait, what, what did she say? She asked, 
Oh yeah, she was, she was just asking about him, basically. She was just asking about him. And I thought that was interesting because it was unprompted. You know, I didn't bring him up. She just asked about him randomly. And I was like, this is very interesting. So I said, what, are you interested in him? With this very brilliant dog emo, uh, meme gif, this dog gif, this dog was smirking like, the dog was like, oh man, I wish I could show you that, that gif, it was so brilliant. I was just like, cracking up at that gif, man. And I sent it, I was like, are you interested in him? Like, why, why, why are you asking this? And she was just like, no, like, no, I don't even know him. Then, like, you know, this, these silly games. And then she said, but put in a good word for me, though. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, she's exposed herself. She She's interested. I think he's interested because he asked about her when he saw her walk, by, walk past and made me think he's interested. And I, I suspect he's not entirely happy in his current relationship. I don't want to be a homewrecker, but I just also don't want to be a homewrecker. You know? Because you also have to marry. When you marry into a family, you're not just marry, you're not just marrying the girl. You're marrying the family. There's so many things to consider. That's why sometimes people's families hold them back. It's unfortunate. girl the single girl that's interested in the homie that has a girlfriend the single girl has a uh, seemingly nice dad she's talked about her dad before based on what she's told me about her dad he seems like a decent guy he seems like he might be easier to get along with I'll have to ask more questions I'll actually ask her when I'm done with this video find out then I need to sit down with this guy and, and just have a conversation with him. Like, are you, are you sure you want to get married to this other girl? Because this other girl might make you a bit more happier. And she seems to have a solid family. And he might be accepted more readily by them than you are by this other girl's family. And all sorts of things like that. Her, the other girl's dad seems more chilled. He seems like he'll be less stressful to be around. So yeah, it's interesting. I do like that girl. I, I do like her, but yeah, like I said, I don't think we're compatible, so it's nice. I'll, I I always had in mind, right? I was like, okay, I don't think we'll be a match, but I think perhaps her and this other guy might get along better. So I've, uh, I, uh, I've had this whole thing of trying to set them up. I've kind of had this plan to set them up. But now the girlfriend thing is messing things up. His girlfriend. And seven years is a long time to be with someone. So it's not like some recent relationship either. <laughs> it's like seven years. I'll have to do more investigation. To find out uh, the state of that relationship. If it's strong or weak. I think it's weak. We'll see. I don't want to be a home record dude. I don't, don't want to be... That can also. God is watching. You don't want to be the person that destroyed the relationship. <laughs> that was that was working, and you just came in and said, "Don't burn, be with this other girl instead." That's crazy. It's not my place to do that. Um, but I will. I will. I'll. I'll, I'll ask questions. Um. Also, you know, with that other girl, she's like 27. The oh my god, I yeah, anyway, she's 27, he's 27. I met mean, everyone there in that group is like 26, 27, almost or older 26, 27, or older. But there were a lot of people around that age, so that's 1996, right? Yeah, 19, 
96. Yeah, so 27 turning 28. Um, Homegirl's birthday was in January, so she's 28. Actually, yeah, she's actually 28, not 27. Right? Anyway. Um, so she's up there in age, so she needs to get... She needs to find someone quickly, because, yeah, the statistics for women in their 30s getting married, having kids, is not great. It's not great. So she needs to move with the quickness so that she doesn't struggle to find a partner after that. You know what I'm saying? But it'd be nice if she hits with this guy. He's doing well. He's got a... He's got, he seems to have great income. He seems like a very nice guy too. Down to earth. He's tall. I guess he's handsome. Is he handsome? Yeah, I'd, I'd say he's handsome. He's tall, he's handsome. Makes good money. Seems very chill. I think, uh, I think she'd be happy with him. And I think he's, he's you know, he's kind of laid back on her level. I think they could have I think they would do well together. You know, with me, I'm very into like the politics and let's discuss this philosophical concept, get all this sort of stuff. That's not her vibe. Uh, so me and her, I don't think it mesh well. That's not to say that I need to be with someone exactly like me. I don't know. I just felt like it's a feeling. You, know? you just feel like it's not going to work. I think she'd work better with this other guy. We'll see. Maybe he's in love with the other girl and he just, he end up staying with her and he's fine with that. But yeah, I'll have the conversation and see what's up. I met this other girl. I feel dirty for saying this, but I'll just be honest. I feel like a scumbag. Yeah. So I met this couple. Say, yeah, this guy and this girl. The guy is very cool. I like him a lot. But I was attracted to his girlfriend. I was like, she's, she's cute. I don't know what it was. I just, it was just, I was distracted to her. And yeah. I was just like, that's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get struck down by lightning or anything. Busy looking at another man's girl like that. But I, I thought she was very, very attractive. It wasn't. It, it was like a crush. So it wasn't just purely like... Um, it's, you know, like... I don't want to sound like some... Some hippie or something. But it's like energy. You feel the energy and you're just like... It felt... It felt palpable. I, well, I felt... Something. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. It's crazy to feel that way about someone who you know is someone else's... Um, um, what you call it? Someone's girlfriend. So that's interesting. But I like I like the guy more than I like her, though. No, no, Diddy. I just mean he's cool, and I want to be friends with him. So, yeah, I'm gonna invest in being his friend because I think he's very cool. I want to get to know him more. I thought that was very interesting, though. I've, I don't think I've ever experienced that. Yeah, I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever like met someone and I know that she's in a relationship with this other guy and I still have, I don't want to say feelings because I just met her, but I felt something. I felt something. So I don't think I've ever experienced that. <laughs> I felt like a snake. I hope you never see his video. Then, yeah. I'm just being honest. I'm not condoning any. I would never, in a million years, uh, make a move or do anything like that. That's not in my character to do stuff like that. I'm just being honest about my initial reactions in that moment when I first laid eyes on her. Um, I was like, damn, she's cute. I don't know if it's 
So, anyway. That was, that was, uh, that was nice. So my main project is going to be trying to figure out the state of that guy's relationship. If it's, if it's strong, if it's weak. And if I determine that he doesn't really want to be in that relationship, I'll just ask the question, why, 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 why put up with it? Why, 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 why make that choice to be with this girl forever and ever and ever and ever? Because if there's any time to break up, it's now, while she's still relatively young. Give her time to find another guy. Don't stick with her out of obligation, then break up with her when you're 30. And you've wasted her time, and now she's... Because, you know, with guys, we have the advantage of being guys. We have time on our side. Women aren't the same. So it's like your child uh, bearing years, your, your most fertile years are in your 20s. And that's always a thing that men factor in when they're picking partners is like it's children so uh, uh, she would have to start competing with like 20 year olds to 20 something year olds you know which is yeah so I would tell him like if you're gonna break up with her do it, do it now and give her time to find another guy cause even look even if she's like let's say she's age 30 she can still have kids at age 30. The issue is finding a man at age 30. You spend years trying to find that guy. By the time you find a guy, you're like, what, 35, 34? It can, it can take that long. It's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. People underestimate the difficulty. 50% of women, single women in their 30s, single, childless. They, they stay ch single, childless forever. I'm not saying that to scare anyone, it's just a fact. It's just, just a, it's just a fact. 50% guys, that's crazy. So yeah, if there's any time to break up with her, it's, it's now. So that you can give her time to quickly find someone if, if she can. Seven years is crazy, man. I can't imagine dating someone for seven. I and mean, look, finances are a thing. Sometimes your finances just don't allow for it. But me personally, if I had which, if I had the finances which this other guy does, I wouldn't be dating someone for seven years. I was prepared for a long time. Ago. And your family can always help get you set up. They can help you get set up in various ways. They can help you pay for a wedding. They can help you pay for a ring. They can help you with this. They can help you with that. That's what family is for. So it's like you know, it's not just, it's not like you're handling everything by yourself. Some people don't have the luxury of family and stuff like that, but for those who do, like, what's your excuse, bro? Like, what's your excuse? So, so the guys are always, like, taking years and years to propose because they're indecisive. I'm like, make up your fucking mind, bro. Hurry up. It would not take me more than a year to propose, to be honest. If I had the finances, it wouldn't take very long. Within that year, I'm, it's a dumb deal. I'm the type to propose in a few months, to be honest. Say what you will about that. Move quick. It's no time to waste, guys. There's no time to waste. I'm 23, turning 24. Sometimes you think you're going to be young forever. It's not the case. Time is all the essence. We're not dating for, for seven years. Ridiculous. Preposterous. It's not gonna Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments. In the comments. If you made it this far. I guess drop a... Drop a wedding ring emoji. We're talking about marriage. Drop a wedding ring emoji if you made it this far. Drop a wedding ring emoji. 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 
you know, make a prayer, they will make videos, rest in part, peace and blessing, all the good stuff. So, dear Father God, thank you for sending the watching this right now. Thank you for making them whole and unique and guiding them on a path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose, purpose, purpose. Thank you for blessing this person with the spirit of gratitude. Wait, no, that's the wrong. Thank you for blessing this person with wonderful people in their life who love them, take care of them, and bring the absolute best out of them. And thank you for maintaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with the spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in their life. And by giving thanks, they can find peace, contentment, and attract even more blessings. Thank you for letting your presence be felt in this person's life so they know that you're God, that you're real, that you love them and you're always going to be there for them. Good health, long life and happiness over this person and everyone they care about. You're my name and pray in Jesus 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 and pray in Jes